this first video, I need to do something very important with you. I need to build a learning foundation. Like the big cement mixer truck that pours that thick slab that every other part of the house will rely upon. I need to help you develop the proper mindset. The mindset that will help you distinguish between great and lousy advertising. Until you know how to tell the two apart, you will be doomed to create dummy advertising at least 50% of the time. That's too risky. Life is too short and your dollars are too limited. I want you to instantly know what is good and what is garbage the moment you see it. Bottom line, when it comes to advertising, I want you to be able to think like me. So first, I want to talk to you about probably the biggest blunder being made by most business people today, both online and off. Trying to be creative in their advertising. Yes, these advertisers are having a wonderful time dreaming of puns and rhymes, clever phrases, plays on words. They're having a blast, laughing it up, calling their friends and relatives on the phone and excitedly reading their creative new emails, landing pages, and Facebook ads to them. Their friends and relatives are super impressed at their cleverness. Hey, Adam, that's a killer ad. Wow, what a winner. Laugh my head off at that one. So clever. Wow, how'd you come up with that? Oh, run it everywhere. Facebook, AdWords, YouTube, Twitter. Hit up all the ad networks. People are going to buy, buy, buy. Can't wait to help you pick out your first Rolls Royce or maybe a Bentley. Please don't forget me when you're at the top, Adam. So all excitedly, affiliate Adam runs his oh-so-clever ad. He spends a fortune on it because his friend Joe, Uncle Jack, and even his affiliate marketing expert, Chimney Sweep Lou, thought it was a big winner. And guess what? Poor Adam loses big time. Yes, even though Uncle Jack, his friend Joe, and big expert Lou thought it was his golden key to riches. Sure, Adam only lost $3,700, but poor Adam doesn't have any more $3,700 in the bank. Listen up. Most attempts at being creative in advertising fail, fail, fail miserably. Why? Three reasons. Reason number one, humor is subjective. Reason number two, most people aren't funny. And reason number three, and most importantly, Advertising's first purpose is not to entertain. The purpose of advertising is to sell. I want you from this day forward to forget the ridiculous nonsense about dreaming up cute and clever puns and metaphors. If you're an affiliate for a web designer, forget the talking tarantula. If you're promoting video editing software, we don't need to see your lip-syncing bulldog.